Welcome back into Live in the Bay. Now, in a world where the job market is changing rapidly, Bank of America is committed to putting its best foot forward in assisting teens with career skill building opportunities through strategies like the Student Leaders Program. This year, five Silicon Valley students were named 2022 Bank of America Student Leaders. Joining us today is Bank of America Market President Raquel Gonzalez and Student Leader Amara Fernandez. Thank you, ladies, for joining me on the show today. I'm so excited to have you guys. Thanks for having us, Olivia. This is a pretty big deal. So congratulations, Amara, for being one of the few students who were selected for this program. Let's get into the program itself. First of all, why was this such an important initiative for Bank of America to help students when it comes to future employment and skills like that? Yeah, and Bank of America is focused on providing young adults and teens with job skills, leadership development, um, as well as career pathways. And our student leader program offers this, the participating students a paid internship. Mm -hmm. And it's a summer long internship. We pair them up with community organizations and they're working with the organization side by side doing their internship. Um, so it really helps them build the relationship with the nonprofit, learn about what the nonprofits do um, <clears throat> and really gain that experience. Um, so it's really about helping build their skills that are going to be so needed in the future. Mm -hmm. And then for us, it's also important because we're helping build a pipeline of diverse talent for today and into the future. Yes, and the future is so important. And investing in young students mm -hmm. now, that, that is the goal, to see their success later on. Now, Amara, for you, when you first learned about this program, what interested you in applying for the position? I think as someone who's really passionate about social justice and civic engagement, what really stood out to me about the Bank of America Student Leaders Program is the ability to connect directly with nonprofits and communities in the local area. Um, and that's something that we don't really have that many opportunities to do as like young people, usually internships with legislators and things like that are usually in the college level. Mm -hmm. So being able to be a high school student and really understand what is needed in the community and how to help is really important to me. So that's one of the main reasons I applied. And that's incredible, Amara, to sit here and listen to you as a young woman talk about social justice and how important it is to you at a very young age. I, when when you when you talk about getting involved in some of these programs and being able to start early why why do you think that experience is important now I think it's because um, a lot of politicians and things like that say oh the youth is the future the youth yeah. is um, very important for tomorrow but um, in terms of being able to actually do anything um, it's very limited in terms of what the youth actually can do. So um, with places like Bank of America Student Leaders, they give opportunities for the youth to be able to go out in the world and do things, um, which it may not seem like a lot of youth are passionate about things like that, but that's just not true. It's just that there aren't very many avenues to do so. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think that's one of the reasons why things like this is so important. Yeah, and, and like you said, it may not seem like there are a lot of youth who are interested in these, in these issues going on in the world, but maybe they just haven't been given the the platform or the opportunity to allow their voice to be heard now which brings me to back to Bank of America you guys are providing that platform that ability for the students to have their voice heard how have you guys been able to do that well I'll tell you the selection process is very difficult yeah. because as you can see <laughs> I'm sure you have so many amazing these students, students are pretty amazing yes um, but we select each year in the Bay Area we select 12 and mm -hmm. Um, nationally about 300 um, and the way that we select the students is we truly look at what they bring to the table holistically I mean academics is just sort of the ticket to entrance right but it's what else are they doing in terms of really making a difference and an impact in their community and um, what's unique about the program is that the selection committee is comprised of community leaders as well as some internal Bank of America leaders and that's how we select the, the, the finalists, right, the five yeah. that um, in our case, five in Silicon Valley, but in the Bay Area, the 12 mm -hmm. that are going to go through a program each year. Uh, which I'm sure that selection process, like you mentioned, is very difficult because you have a lot yes. of amazing students. The talent <laughs> is just, yes, it, it's for me, it's one of my favorite days when you review mm -hmm. um, as a committee what 
these amazing young people are doing and and then to narrow it down it's just my goodness it's, it is a process but it's very inspiring mm -hmm. um, just to see how much they've already done uh, and to think about what the program can do to help them just go even further right yes. in terms of expanding their horizons and helping them see what's available yeah uh, but it is an inspiring day and what we always know when we select the finalists that we've made the right decision because they're just they're incredible that um, the leadership that they've already demonstrated and then the possibilities that are going to open up for them. But yeah, no, um, that's absolutely wonderful. Now, Omar, I have to ask you, what are you looking forward to when it comes to the virtual summit that will be mm -hmm. taking place very soon? What are you looking forward to? Well, just because it's virtual doesn't mean that there's going to be anything different, really. Um, it's going to be exactly the same thing. I'm really looking forward to meeting the other student leaders from across the country. That's kind of an opportunity that I'm really excited for. We get to do workshops together, which I think is really cool um, because, you know, building that team spirit and being able to network all across the nation is just amazing. But one of the things that I'm most excited about is the ability for us to actually meet with Congress people mm. um, because at the end of it, we actually get meetings with to Congress people and we get to discuss issues that are important to us and so I think that that's really important time with people who are making big changes in America to be able to have that time to sit down and have them listen is really important. Well congratulations Amara that is quite quite the accomplishment young ladies so congratulations to you and thank you both Raquel Amara for coming on the show and talking a little bit about the program we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia. Mm -hmm. To learn more we will have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.